Welcome back. Today I'm going to be doing the 400K PM kit, which is this kit right here on the 3070 that's going to replace uh, a lot of parts in the second transfer. Well, I'm sorry, the intermediate transfer, the rollers, the belt cleaning blade. Um, so what I'm going to do first though is I have books that I want to keep running on here and I don't want to stop production. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to pull out the transfer unit on the 1070 and put it in the 3070 so I can rebuild the 3070 intermediate transfer unit. Wow, that was a mouthful. Stick around. And the reason I just didn't run that job on the 1070 is because this is an odd size uh, sheet and with with the iq uh, the front to back registration for any size sheet is so easy and i have it set up here so it was just easier just to keep running the job here uh, i started seeing some dirt from the cleaning blade uh, on the edge of the sheet so i decided it was time to do the rebuild the uh the it, all the parts on the intermediate unit are at like 500 percent of their life so it's been run about five times as long as Konica recommends it. So it's time to just replace everything there. Okay, so this is the 400K PM kit and included in there is transfer belt, first transfer roller. There's four of those, one for each color. Second transfer upper roller, which is part of the intermediate transfer unit. The lower roller, which I'm not gonna show today because I already replaced that in here. Discharge unit is part of the low roller that's already replaced in here. Then a cleaning blade and the sheet assembly. I'll show you how to take care of all that stuff. Okay, now that we have the intermediate transfer unit out, it's on these two stands. Uh, what we need to do is take off the cleaning unit and uh, these the separation claws down here. Cleaning unit simple. It's just two screws up on top here. Sometimes I like to put a piece of paper below because it always drops a little toner down, but I have the vacuum right here, so no problem. Just roll it back, pull it towards you. No, it didn't make a mess at all. But there you can see all the waste toner. Um, this blade I actually replaced... Uh, bleh, probably only two or three weeks ago. So I'm just gonna let that in uh, and I'll just vacuum this out before I put it back on the new one. And the claws here are even easier yet. It's just one screw. And this pulls towards me and out. And these are the claws that uh, peel the paper off and take it to the fuser. If these claws weren't here, the paper would just stick to uh, this transfer belt and go right up. Okay, if you missed it before, the stand and the tension release screw just sit right on top of this unit here. The screw is right here and the stand was right here. And if you missed actually these two metal stands, they lay right here. Okay, we just need to put the stand right on here. And then hold the top handle and uh, this black handle over here, lift it up and rotate. It seems a little sketchy, but it'll stay there. And remove these two metal stands. We don't need that anymore for the time being. And remove these two screws here so we can take this handle off. Okay, so then you just want to push this white plate here back and put that screw that we got out of the top down through the center of that shaft. 
so it's back like that and that screw will hold it there and then this little uh, this what used to be the handle will actually hold this back just push that back and rotate that forward I tell you what that's ingenious now we come over to the other side here we need to pull this clip out take this top disc off and then I need to take out these three black screws another clip and a bearing And she'll be able to slip right off. This belt actually doesn't look too bad. Typically, I'd want to replace a belt if there's some sort of a nick that will show up in the image transfer. Uh, you know, if it's been uh, bent over uh, or if, you know, these tabs completely come off. Uh, this could actually probably keep going for a little bit. I'm actually, I mean, I'm more concerned about the cleanliness and uh, the rollers working here. I have noticed on this machine that the white area of the paper had... A little bit more toner than I like to see. There's a little bit of a background. Uh, so I don't know that this is going to solve that problem, but it certainly isn't going to hurt and it is certainly way, 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 way past due. So also wanted to point out uh, this belt, there's writing on the bottom side and the new belt, you have to put that on the bottom. Okay, before we put the new belt on here, we do have five rollers that we need to replace. This one, which is the uh, low, or the upper second transfer belt, and it is it is filthy. Um, I am a little concerned about this bearing. It's kind of nasty looking, but it's still very free, so I don't have a replacement for it. So I'm just going to put it back as is. Maybe clean it off a little bit, and then this roller. The yellow magenta cyan and black first transfer roller oh man that black roller is cracked all over the place that could be uh, that could be bad I mean that could be causing issues uh, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to pop the rollers out I want to lightly blow it down to remove any excess toner that's in there and then we'll put the new rollers back in. And these just pop right out. You can see, looks like there's a little bit of excess toner kind of on this edge. And that could, that could change transfer um, so guarantee that replacing all this is going to help out
while we have this open, uh, it's just kind of interesting to see. Uh, there's four different wires that charge these rollers individually for yellow, cyan, magenta, and black. Uh, now those, uh, and that's because the printer is automatically going to figure out uh, what voltage those should be at to uh, get the correct amount of toner to transfer to the paper so that the image looks correct uh, and maintains consistency. So uh, it's all important that there's good connection with everything and it's all cleaned out. So that's why I took the opportunity to kind of clean it all out while it's open. And uh, because cleanliness is next to godliness. Okay, you can also clean off these rollers here with a little alcohol. Well, we have it open. Won't be the end of the world if you don't, but might as well. Okay, so I learned something new today since this is the first time that I did a transfer belt on a 3070-1070. Uh, so this is the old belt, and I cleaned it off so we can see it. Uh, there it says upside, which you need to keep that down, which is weird. Um, but anyways, the printed side goes down. And uh, then, depending on the color of this, uh, you will unplug or plug a connector. Now this one was red, and the new one I have here is red. If that marking is red, you're supposed to unplug this connector. So that makes me wonder, I don't know why this connector wasn't unplugged or what it does or if it matters at all. But since the service manual tells me to unplug it, I'm gonna unplug it. Uh, however, the last belt that was on here was red and this was plugged in. Now, if that was blue, you're supposed to keep this plugged in, but I don't know, we'll see what happens I'll just unplug it and see. I guess if I can't get it to run, then I'll just plug that back in. We'll give that a try. Okay, and then just slip the new belt right on. And be careful to only touch the edges. You don't want to go touching the center. Although eventually the oil will probably run out on paper. but. And then just be careful, take your time. Just don't want to damage this. And as you're going down, there's a detent here where that edge will sit on the other side of this and same on the top, so you need to keep uh, feeding it down until it rests uh, down all the way and there right there is where the the belt is and on the edges of these and the edges of that one so then it's good and then do everything in reverse bearing clip plastic thingy three screws One thing I'm wondering about that connector that I don't know what it does is I did see in here in the parts counter there is a intermediate transfer, a C and an H. So I don't know what the difference between that is because typically you get into the intermediate, oh, okay. Okay, so with that plug unplugged, it wasn't showing up here, but it was showing up here. 
Who knows? But while I'm in here, we need to reset all this good stuff. To get in and reset that, what you're going to have to do is hit your utility button, stop zero zero, stop zero one, and then you can get in here to the counter. So you reset the counter and then we need to do process, drum blade setting, and go ahead and run this. Once that's done, do a gamma. Okay, when that's completed, then we do a, go back to machine, printer, color registration. Okay, that's finished. And then uh, we're, we're done, basically. Um, since I have the IQ hooked up, uh, I'll do my package auto adjustment. Well, I ain't waiting for that to warm up. So, hopefully that helps you out. Hopefully you learned something uh, in case you need to trans or replace the belt on one of your machines. Uh, this same uh, procedure should be able to be used for basically any of the Konica machines. Uh, the 1070, 2070, 3070, 3080, they are all pretty much the same. Uh, and it's also very similar to the C6500 um, or the 6000, 7000. So it gives me the results. And that's how I start the day out. I guess I could write that stuff down or... Oh yeah, there's charts too. Oh wait, is it here? Nope, never mind. There's charts somewhere. See ya.